Good morning, class. How are you all today? Fine? Good. I'm so excited to meet you all today, to talk to you all today once again. So are you all excited to learn something new today? Yes. So today we are going to study something called mobile computers. This is an extra topic. It's not in our book, but I'm going to teach you about mo mobile computers. Now, what is this? Let's see. Are you all ready? Okay. Now, what are you going to study in this? We will study example of phones of the past. That what phones was used in the past. Nowadays, we use smartphones. We have tablets also for calling and everything. Before, which phones was used? Smartphone, a phone of today. We are going to study this. Tablet, a mobile computer. Some important mobile operating systems. So these four things we are going to cover in this lesson. So our L offer today is to be able to know about different types of mobile computers and to be able to know mobile operating system. These are our two um, topics for today, two LOs for today. Now let's start. Phones of the past. Let's see first what was used before. Telephone greatest invention. You know telephone it is said that the telephone is the greatest invention and it was invented it is the invention of 19th century you know i will show you the pictures of how were the phones in past see these were the phones in past do you think we can carry these phones in our pockets in our hands in our bags anywhere <laughs> do you think so no it was not easy and it, it is not possible at all that we can carry this because it needs wire also to be connected somewhere now what are these past phones were used only to make and receive calls do you think these phones were used for uh, to find some information on google to play games to watch youtube facebook twitter no it was only for hello how are you yes i'm fine thank you close trend trend hello how are you i'm fine thank you close Hello, Assalamu Alaikum. Khalas, that's it. It was only used to answer and make calls. Next, it was fixed to one place and it could not be carried around like the mobiles we use today, like the phones we use today. We can, we can use tablets, we can carry it around easily. Smartphones, we can carry them around easily. Yes or no? Yes. But. 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 With the invention of mobile phones, everything changed. Now, do you remember the before the previous mobile, small mobiles without uh, internet? Only the mobiles, but they were small in size. That we can carry around easily. Even though there was no internet in those mobiles, but we can carry around easily. It was smaller in size, yes? With that invention, with that invention of mobile phones, everything changed. How? Because we can carry our mobiles easily and it and it was very small in size. It was easily fixed in our pockets, in our bags, everywhere. Okay, next. Then, after these mobile phones, what came? Then came mobile computers, the ones we are using it now. Then came mobile computers, which have features of computers and cell phones called smartphones and tablets it means features of uh, cell phones and computers means that we can also we can also use our com like uh, we can also work on it and we can also make calls we can receive calls we can send messages we can browse internet we can watch cartoons so it have the features of both computers and cell phones yes it is called smartphones and tablets and we all know what is smartphone and tablets all of them have got in their home, own ho homes, yes? What was there in tablet and smartphone? Buttons were replaced by touch screens. There were no buttons on these smartphones. There were touch screens, yes? You may have seen many people around you using mobile phones, yes? Doing many different things. Even you take an example of yourself, your parents, your teacher, they do many things on this mobile computers, yes? We can uh, work on it, we can watch cartoons, we can play, we can read news, I can search information, I can listen to music, yes? Okay, see, these are the mobile computers, smartphone, tablet, yes? We all know 
what is a tablet and what is a smartphone we all have these in our homes yes yes next tablets and smartphones are used for now what how and for what we use this tablets and smartphones search information yes play games yes read ebooks yes take pictures obviously yes listen to music these are only few things i have mentioned now yeah? but you know that there are plenty and plenty of things we can do on tablets and smartphones yes i can also look for some recipe oh i want to make uh, chocolate chip cookies yeah let's let, look, look for it and make it yes i can watch it video also and i can make it so there are plenty and plenty of things i can do on tablets and smartphones today yes but in before phone nothing was such only to call and to make calls that's it making calls receiving calls that's it next mobile operating system now what is operating system now like we open our windows like we open our computers windows is an operating system yes windows every computer needs an operating system to work how will a computer work if there is no operating system in it windows is an operating system linux is also an operating system okay but we use windows like our computers same our mobile also have operating system and mobile operating system is known as mobile os okay mobile os same like our desktop computers operating system our mobile also run on mobile operating system called as mobile os clear mobile os next some of the popular mobile operating system like we have different companies of mobiles we have google we have apple we have rim we have samsung we have microphone sorry microsoft we have different uh, types of companies yes all those companies have their own operating system have their own operating system to make their mobile work let's see okay you can see this table over here company name and operating system with the picture with the logo now google google use android okay apple use ios we all know that rim use blackberry os samsung bada microsoft windows phone you can also look at the logos of all these operating systems again i'm going to repeat google company android apple company ios rim company blackberry os samsung company bada and microsoft company windows phone look at the logos of it at the right side clear so let us summarize that what did we study we studied that mobile computers have the combined features of smartphone and a computer yes or no i can also work on my mobile i can also watch cartoons everything yes next smartphones are multitasking like i said everything we can do on it next mobile computers run on mobile operating system yes android ios bada are the various types of operating system now here i finish my lesson but i'll go back again and i'm i'll tell you that before telephones before phones were not used to watch cartoons to find some work they were only kept at one place it was only used to call and make and receive calls that's it it was kept at one place we cannot take it around anywhere we want but then came an era of mobile phones mobile phones when it came it changed everything because it was small and it was easy to carry after that mobile came an era of mobile computers mobile computers means smartphones and tablets in which we can work also we can listen to music also it's multitasking clear okay if you have any questions on these please ask me and now you can go to class era and you can answer the questions thank you all